Okay, ma'am, your total is $53.50. No, it's not. It's $50 even. The sign said $50 even, so why am I paying an extra $350? Your item is $50. It rang up right, uh, but you know, the sales tax is $350, so total $53.50. No, no. Sign says $50. I'm spending $50 total. Ma'am, I can't do anything about sales tax. That's not something that's a company that we control. If you have an issue with sales tax, then you need to take it up with the state. But regardless, we have to charge a sales tax per transaction. You're trying to steal from me. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to steal from me. How many people have you done this hustle with? 350, you wait. Most people wouldn't notice. They're too fucking stupid to realize it, aren't they? But <laughs> not with me. You're not gonna steal from me now. What? Get me your manager immediately. Can I have a manager to the front to explain how sales tax work? Can I have a manager to the front to explain how sales tax work? Thank you. She'll be right with you in a minute, ma'am. So I'm flowing merchandise around the store and I hear, uh, excuse me, excuse me, ma'am. Yes, uh, over here. Yes, sir, how may I help you? I will give you $40 cash money right now for this console. This deal will be made. I will get in line right now and I will purchase this item. Sale will be made, cash money. I'm sorry, what? Is there something wrong with the console, sir? This is a $100 console. Did, were you trying to look for a discount? Because the max that they allow us to do is about 10%. No, nothing's wrong with it, but $40 seems about right. I'm offering you a deal, cash. No, I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. We're not allowed to negotiate pricing. We do not work off commission. You drive a hard bargain, little lady. Fine, $50 cash. $50 cash, yeah, I'll do it just for you. No, no, sir, I, we cannot negotiate that. I, I'm sorry, it's not, uh, it's not me saying no. I, we, it, that's never been a practice. You're really not gonna work with the customer. You're gonna let this cash deal walk out the door. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking. This store doesn't care about their customers at all. I'm gonna take my build business elsewhere. I'm, I'm gonna take my business elsewhere. How do you feel about that? Have a good day, sir. I would like to exchange this item, please. Hmm, so this one is not on this receipt. Did you have another receipt? No, I want to exchange it. Oh, okay, do you have the original item to exchange? Yeah, it's at home. Oh, you just wanted to purchase this item then? No, I want to exchange it. You have to have the other item with you for us to do the exchange, ma'am. Why? I gave you my receipt. What about this do you not understand? It's just a simple exchange. You have to have the item with you for us to exchange. If not, we're just giving you an item for free. No, you aren't. The items at home, I'm doing in exchange. Oh, Ma'am, that's the store policies. You have to have the item and the receipt to do the exchange. Fine, I'll bring the item up later. Go ahead and do the exchange. I can't do the exchange without the item. You're an idiot. I want your manager now. I'm an idiot because you gave me a receipt, grabbed something off the shelf, and I won't give you that item for free. No, I'm trying to do an exchange and you're too stupid to figure it out. So you're not even worth my time. Get me your manager. I'm returning this dog bed. Here's my receipt. Thank you. Okay. 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 What? There's nothing wrong with it. Ma'am, do you have the original packaging that came with the item? No, I wasn't given any. So if it's not on there, it's not my fault. There's nothing wrong with it. She just didn't like the bed. Unfortunately, ma'am, due to its condition, I am unable to process this return. Like hell, you're not. I have my receipt and you have my item. It doesn't need a tag on it. Figure it out. Ma'am, this dog bed is smeared in animal feces and saturated in urine. No, it isn't. That sounds like a you problem, honey. You can see it. I'm not, I'm not processing your return. No. I bet differently, honey. Get me your manager. Can I have a manager to register three, please? A manager to register three, please? What seems to be the problem here? I'm trying to do a return. I have the item and your employee doesn't want to give me the return. She brought me an item that doesn't have a tag on it. It is clearly used. It's covered in feces and urine. And no, I'm not doing that return. That I need to wash my hands too. Okay, okay, I hear you both. Uh, go ahead and process this return. Hmm, just like I said, you will be processing my return. No, I won't be. The manager's here. She wants to give it to you so bad. You can go ahead and do the return. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Beep. Um, okay, so ma'am, uh, the, the actual price of this is $79.99, not $3.99, yet it looks like somebody took a clearance ticker from another item and placed it over the price tag on this. Did you still want to purchase it? Mm, I'm going to need to think about it. Go ahead and ring up the rest of the stuff. Okay, ma'am. Sorry about that. Beep. 
Okay. Um, yep. Yeah, so same thing happened with this one. Uh, price is not three ninety nine. Yet again, it was just another clearance sticker on the regular tag. Uh, this is twenty nine ninety nine. Would you like to purchase this item? I'm gonna think about that one too. Let's see. Okay, ma'am. So I went through all of your items, and unfortunately, I did have to remove all of the additional clearance stickers on them. So they do have the correct prices on them now. Would you like to see what ones you wanted to purchase? I'm going to go ahead and purchase them all. And you're going to sell it to me for the price that was on it. Legally, you have to. <laughs> no, ma'am. Uh, that only applies if there's an issue with the distribution center, a barcode error. The correct price is on the item. It seems that another customer has gone by and replaced every single ticket with another clearance item ticket. Um, unfortunately, no. You want to know what? What is your name? I'm not even going to purchase anything now because of how you're treating me. Give me your name. I'm going to call corporate and I'm going to let them know that because of you, customers aren't purchasing their merchandise. Okay. My name is Amanda. Have a good day. Hey, y'all. If you need me, I'm going to be over in the clearance section. Yeah, I got like 20 tickets to reprint. Beep. Okay, maybe my total is 21.21. No. All of those are clearance items. Oh, no, ma'am. Two were on clearance and the other two weren't. But if you'd like, I can go ahead and try to scan the other two and just to check to make sure that they're not on clearance. Yes, ma'am. Uh, both of these are full price. No, I got them in the clearance section. Therefore, they're on clearance. I'm so sorry, ma'am. We don't do like a blanketed clearance item, like 25% off. All of our items are individually scanned and marked with their distinct markdown sale price. Unfortunately, when people are shopping, they'll see something on clearance and they just happen to leave whatever was in their cart in the clearance section. I no, I know the law. You have to give it to me on sale. Ma'am, that only applies like if, if the store puts the wrong price on an item, we have to give you the price that it's listed for. If not, no one would ever pay full price in a store. They would just say they got it in the clearance section. No, no, give me your manager. Can I have a manager to register two, please? A manager to register two, please. Yes, what seems to be the problem here? Two out of the four of her items aren't on sale. She said she found them in the clearance section. I checked the system. They're not on sale and there's nothing wrong with them. I apologize, ma'am. If they're not on sale and there's nothing wrong with them, the price is the price. Um, no, you need to be compensating me for my time because this was in the sales section and therefore I should be getting it on sale. No. You're really not going to give me a discount? I said I found it over there. You want to know what? I'm going to check back and let me find that fucking thing on sale. Let me find it on sale. I'm going to contact my lawyer and I will sue this entire corporation. You want to, you're discriminated against me. I am being discriminated against right now. Markdown days are Thursdays and Fridays. We hope to see you there. Have a great day, ma'am. Yo, she's gonna hire a lawyer when she didn't even want to pay full price for an item, right? These crazies are out today. Hi, thank you for waiting. Did you find everything that you were looking for? These items are marked incorrectly and I need you to adjust the prices accordingly. What seems to be the problem? This bowl is marked at $12.99 while these bowls are marked at $16.99. I want all of them for $12.99. Yes ma'am, so all of these are different brands and styles and they're priced off of that brand. Don't talk to me like I'm stupid. I can see that they're all different brands and styles. It doesn't change the fact that you're still gonna give them to me for $12.99. No. I'm gonna get my manager. Yeah, get me somebody who knows what they're doing since you don't. Can I have a manager to register one, please? A manager to register one, please? Well, hello, how may I help you? Finally, somebody who knows what they're doing. Yeah, she doesn't seem to like to listen. So this one's $12.99, these two are $16.99. I want all three of them $12.99. Ma'am, these are all separate styles and brands. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You really think you deserve $15 an hour when you can't even understand basic fucking concepts? What part of $12.99, $16.99, one is cheaper than the other, why would I pay more? They're all bulls. Do you not understand? And we are not going to be lowering that price. As I said, they are different brands and styles and they are priced accordingly. Oh my God. It is really not that hard. This is exactly what I tell people when they talk about raising minimum wage. Situations just like this. I need you to get me another man. Get me another manager right now. And what is your name? And what is your name? I will be calling corporate after this to let them know about how horrible my experience was here. Hi, thank you for waiting. Did you find everything that you were looking for? Yeah. Okay, and your total comes to $100 even, ma'am. No, you forgot my discount. Sorry about that. Do you have any coupons? Bless your heart. Yeah, your sign over there says 25% off, so go ahead and take 25% off my entire order. The sign on the wall over there, ma'am? Yeah, it says 25% off upon approval of my store's credit card. If you would like to apply for the credit card, I just need a valid ID and I can get that started for you. I would never sign up for the store's credit card. No, sign says 25% off. That means that you give 
25% off. No, ma'am. So that sign specifically states that it's upon approval of our credit card that you receive that discount. I know you're not trying to talk to me like I'm stupid and you're the one that works retail. I'm a lawyer. I know these things. Now you have to give me 25% off because the sign on that wall says 25% off. Again, ma'am, as it states on that sign, 25% upon approval of my store's credit card. Did you still want to purchase these items or am I canceling the transaction? Get me your manager immediately. And I hope your little power trip was worth it because it just cost you your job. I'm a lawyer and I know my rights. I have a manager to register to please, a manager to register to please. You should be worried right now. Okay. What seems to be the problem here? For one, your employee needs to be terminated immediately. She has an attitude, fucking horrible customer service. I will not be shopping here again, specifically if she's still working here. And two, that sign over there says 25% off. And that means legally you have to give me 25% off. I'm a lawyer and I know my rights. No ma'am, as that sign clearly states, to have that discount applied, you do have to be approved for our credit card. If you'd like to sign up, I can have her start that for you. And if not, did you still wanna purchase these items or should we cancel the transaction? This is completely unacceptable. What's your name and what's your name? I'm calling corporate. I am a lawyer and I know my rights and legally you have to give me that discount. Unacceptable. They don't even care about customers anymore. Customer is always right and this is no, I'm, you're gonna be hearing from my lawyer. That's it, I'm, you're gonna be hearing from my lawyer. Okay, you have a great day, ma'am. Hi, thank you so much for waiting. Have you accepted our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ into your life? Beep. Ma'am, that is not appropriate word conversation. I don't discuss religion or politics on the clock. That is just what I thought. It's not too late to save yourself from eternal damnation. That is completely inappropriate. I want you to have this. You clearly need it. No, thank you. You are clearly in need of it. Beep. This is for you. I want you to have it. Just what I thought. I still want you to have a blessed day though. Blessed be the fruit, ma'am. Beep boop. Okay, your total is $4.98, sir. Yes, this card has $500 store credit on it. Okay. And then I just need to check your ID versus the name that's saved in the system. I'm sorry, Carl Candyman. This has actually been issued to a Brenda Butterscotch and only Brenda Butterscotch can use this card. What do you mean? Because her return was without a receipt, it is synced with her ID specifically. So that total $500 balance, it can only be utilized by Brenda Butterscotch. The company was having issues with people grabbing carts full of stuff and then they would return, return it without receipt and they were going to sell those store credits to pawn shops or other people. A way for them to combat it, cut it down everything. The person who returns it is the only person that can purchase using that card. I don't understand. This card is linked with Brenda Butterscotch's ID that's in our system. Brenda Butterscotch has to be here physically with her ID to use this card for this purchase. Well, she's not here. Yes, and unfortunately, Brenda Butterscotch does have to be here physically with a valid ID to use this card. Did you still wanna purchase these items? Yes, with this card. Sir, I can't accept this form of payment unless Brenda Butterscotch is here with you. I think you gotta pay some other way. No, I have $500 right here. I'm gonna pay using this right here. Sir, I can't run that form of payment unless Brenda Butterscotch is here with an ID. Why? Sir, as I said, I can't. You need to get a manager because you don't make any sense. Can I have a manager to register one, please? What seems to be the problem here? He's trying to use a store credit that's not synced to his ID. Sir, unfortunately, Brenda Butterscotch does need to be with you to make this purchase. Why? She said I could use it. I'm so sorry, sir. That's just policy. I don't understand why I can't use this card. I'm gonna use this card. Okay, go ahead and let him use that card. Mm, that, yep, yeah, that checks out. That checks out. The exact scenario that this policy was made for and you're gonna let him do it anyways. I'm gonna go take my 15. What? Thank you for calling the store that I work at. How may I help you? Hello, yes. I was in there the other day and there was about six pieces of furniture for about $3,000. And I was wondering if I could buy them over the phone. I'm so sorry, ma'am. We can't do any transactions over the phone. It's no bother to me. It's actually more convenient if I could go ahead and just buy them right now and that way I can save them and I can have somebody pick them up later for me. I completely understand. Uh, but unfortunately, any transactions, you do have to be in the store. We can't do anything over the phone. Oh no, it's okay. I don't mind. You can break policy. It's no big deal to me. I'm actually in a rush, so I need to purchase those now. No, ma'am, this is a non-negotiable. I can't break this policy or I will be terminated. There's no way for us to verify that it's your card if you're authorized to use it. So Unfortunately, any transactions, they do have to be done in store. I don't understand why this is an issue. Ma'am, I do apologize for that inconvenience. I can't have all that furniture up in the front, so when you do arrive, it's ready to go.
That's stupid. It doesn't even help me. I can buy it right now. I have the card number or I'm not going to be able to buy it. So that's up to you. Do you want to make this sale? Ma'am, I don't work off commission. And as I said, it's non-negotiable. It's our policies. I'll be terminated if I try to bypass this. So if I can't help you with anything else, I hope you have a great day. Ugh. Thank you for calling the store that I work at. How may I help you? Hi, yes. I had about six pieces of furniture. It was about $3,000 total, and I wanted to purchase it right now. Uh, can I give you my card number and go ahead and lock that in, and I'll have somebody pick it up later? Ma'am, I just spoke to you 15 minutes ago. Again, the policies did not change. We're not able to do any transactions over the phone, and I have let the managers and all of the other staff know, so you won't be able to purchase that over the phone at this location. I hope you have a great day. This is so fucking stupid. Hi, how can I help you? Just a return, here's my receipt. Thank you. Uh, where's the item? Oh, it's at home. It was broken. I'm sorry, ma'am, so you do actually have to have the item here to return the item. Why? It was broken. I threw it out. In order for you to do return or exchange, you do have to return the item back to us, so you have to bring that item physically back to us, even if it's broken, for us to process that return. If it's broken, why would I bring it back? That is the policy. If not, everybody would just say, oh, it's broken, and they would leave all of the items at home, and we would just be giving out money to everyone. Those people are lying. I'm not. Mine is just broken and at home. In order to do a return, you do have to return the item back to us. If there's nothing else I can help you with, I hope you have a great day. This is so stupid. It's broken. You expect me to dig it out of the trash to return the item? Yeah, I hear you, but uh, you know, have a great day. <laughs> Yo, heads up, girl in the pink over there. She's trying to do a return and all she has is her receipt. I really hope she jumps in your line again then. Uh, stop. Hi, yes, I'd like to return this, please. I just spoke to you. Unless you have the item here, I can't do the return. You have to return the item for us to do the return. This is so stupid. This... I'm gonna call you know, I'm gonna call corporate. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna complain and tell them that you don't even care about customers and how terrible my service was here. Yep. I hope your day sucks. Okay, ma'am. <laughs> A massive crash of glass from exactly where that child was running. Hi, do you think you could clean this up? Somebody spilled some glass. A customer spilled some glass and left it? Yeah, some glass just spilled. Don't worry, I'll help you. Ma'am, stop pushing it with your feet. I don't want you to get cut. Why do you have an attitude? I don't have an attitude, but apparently we have somebody with a bucket full of glass just spilling it all around our store. <sighs> Let's go, Michaela Lynn. Don't be upset. This isn't your fault. This is hers. Hey, did y'all ever do this? It's, it's kind of bad. You're on your way to clock out and you're in the home stretch. Like clockwork, out of nowhere, you're just gonna hear, Nah! Of course I ignore it because I'm at that threshold at that point. So it's like break room and bathroom. You always get the second like, Nah! When I come around that corner, I'm like, <laughs> Gotta be quicker than that. Now I'm in the back like, scrap, bop, 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 bye! Throw that purse on and I'm out the door. And always at that time they come around the corner like, ah! <laughs> they go from like mad as fuck to when they see you with your purse and stuff and the bathroom's right there, they're like, oh fuck, like, did she work here? Or was it just a customer going to the bathroom? That's when you throw out the, ma'am, are you all right? <laughs> they're gonna be like, what the fuck? All types of mad and second guessing themselves. Because even if they were right and I'm ignoring them, I'm no longer on the clock, so it doesn't fucking matter. I will help customers any other time, but when I am, you know, 30 minutes past when I'm supposed to be there, and I'm 10 feet of the break room, and you're over here, Meh! you're on your own. Hi, yes, I need to return this item, and don't worry, I have my card. I'm sorry, ma'am, unfortunately, our system doesn't link your receipt with your card. You do have to have that original receipt with you. What? Why not? Target does this. Yes, and because we're not Target, we do have different software. Now, I can't give you the full refund without a receipt, but I can give you store credit for that. No, I don't want store credit. I have my card right here, and I'm not even gonna use that store credit because I promise you I'm never gonna shop here again after this interaction. Okay, ma'am, I understand. Here's your item, and you know, if you come back with that receipt, we can give you a full refund. You're really not gonna do this for me, and you're gonna make me come all the way back. When I come back, I promise you I'm gonna call corporate and I'm gonna let them know how my time was wasted, my gas was wasted, everything that I had to go through and why I'll never be shopping here again. Please be sure to let them know how upset you are that we're not Target, you have a great day. Target would never do this to me. Here's my item and here's my receipt and I'd like it cash. Okay, thank you. Ma'am, I'm so sorry, but uh, this is actually not our store so I'm unable to process this return. You do have to take it back to ABC store. No, I have my receipt and my item you're gonna give me my cash. No ma'am, so we don't process returns from other stores. I am bringing my item back to the store I purchased it from. You're really gonna sit here and try to tell me that I don't know where I bought my item from? You see right there, our store is 
XYZ, and your receipt right here says ABC, and the sticker on your item says ABC exclusive, yes, you're gonna need to take it back to ABC. I understand what the issue is. You're a store, I have my receipt, and I have my item, give me my cash. There's no issue, we're not doing the return. We don't give returns for other stores' items. That doesn't even make any sense. Yes, it does. I have my item, I have my receipt, and you're a store. Give me my money. No, I'm not doing the return. You have a great day, ma'am. I'm not gonna give you my money. That's stealing. Yeah, yeah, I'm recording you. Say cheese, okay? You're about to be famous. They're stealing from me. They won't give me my money back. Yeah. No, I don't make nearly enough for this. Can I have a manager to register one, please? A manager to register one, please? Another tip for you guys. For some of y'all, it's gonna be the easiest one yet, but for my petty people, it's hard. Credit goes to my manager. This one works really well for customers that try to make it personal, they're trying to escalate it, and they want to fight you. You're going to kill them with kindness. I'll give you an example. Unfortunately, ma'am, we're not going to be able to process that return. You have no receipt, it's completely shattered, and the item is not even from this store. You have a great day. No, you better process my return, you fucking bitch. Oh, thank you. You have a good day, ma'am. You better give me my money, you thin lip bitch. <laughs> thank you. You have a good day. Fuck you. Oh, thank you. You too, ma'am. Have a good day. So why this works? What you're doing is you're not giving them anything to go off. No energy and no words. So after about the first two or three insults, they have no more material. You also isolate them because they're having a fight with a wall. So all it appears to everybody else is just a crazy adult having a temper tantrum. It works really well to de-escalate the situation and get them on your store. Because it kind of works if you're petty because, yeah, they're going to be pissed. They're going to be thinking about that conversation for who fucking knows how long, but they're going to stew on it. So recently in the store, we've been having a group of young women that are trying to create evidence in order to sue the company. I'm going to show you guys what they're doing. This is how they've been coming into the store. Mask, sunglasses that cover everything. Everything is all black too. No logos and everything is covered and they tighten it and tie it. What they do is they have their phone out and then they grab a cart and they fill a cart up with stuff. In order to be able to sue, you have to have evidence. So they record the entire time and then they aggressively book it towards the exit. I'll show you what it looks like. They stop right when they get to the door and then they look around waiting for someone to chase after them or say something. When no one gives them a reaction, they take that cart and they dump it at the back of the store and then they walk to the front of the store and grab an empty cart and they'll cycle it again. And they'll do it three or four times. It sucks because one, I gotta put all those fucking cartfuls of shit that you're not gonna take back. It shouldn't be funny, but just imagine that running past you multiple times and pretty bold of them to assume that for $12 an hour, any of us are gonna put ourselves in harm's way. Mm, no, nope. I understand the hustle, but at what point do you just give up. Hi, sir. How are you? Beep. I'm good. Just buying some goo gone. Okay, sir. Your total is six dollars. Here you go, little lady. Sir, what? What? What is this? They're two dollar bills, little lady. You ain't never seen them before. Ah, uh, you're funny. Yeah, no, I, I do actually need you to pay though. I just did. That that is valid currency, honey. No, it's not. You, good try though. It, it's not a joke. That is that is currency. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You need to get a manager then if you don't understand that. Can I have a manager to the front, please? A manager to the front, please. Hi, what seems to be the problem here? This guy is trying to pay with $2 bills, but like, that's not real. It is a valid currency. You're 17, I wouldn't expect you to know that, but moving forward, $2 bills are accepted. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. It's no problem. Here you go. Sorry about that, sir. I really didn't know that $2 bills were a thing. Yo, I heard you have some $2 bills. I'm about to grab my singles and swap them out. I haven't seen them in years. Sorry about that. After you, ladies. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, the pets clearance section. Come on, Tina, I'm gonna show you it. Are you gonna get Butters a new toy? Yeah, he really likes these ones. Here, let me look. Oh, this one's not on sale. Oh, none of them are on sale. And they're in the clearance section. Yeah, that seems about right. Yes, ma'am, so the entire aisle is not clearance, only that section directly in front of you with the sign above it and the shelves being labeled as clearance. Anywhere else on the aisle, you're gonna see full-priced items. Ooh. Yeah, that did not just work out for me. Well, you guys have a good day, and if you need anything, I'm in the next aisle over. Oh, good morning, ma'am, how are you? Oh, I'll go fuck myself, cool, 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 cool. Have a good day, ma'am. Oh my God, this is dangerous. Who left this cart full of merchandise that needs to be stocked out here? You have glass on top of ceramics with picture frames in between. Now, I'm gonna pull this to the side, I'm gonna straighten it out so that way it's not a hazard to the customers. Less than 10 seconds of rearranging the cart. Hmm, I should definitely try to shop off the stocking cart that an employee's actively working on. And you wanna know what, while I'm at it, I should probably grab the most hazardous item. Oh, is that at the very base with a whole bunch of glass stacked on top of it? Jenga, bitches! No, 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 and please don't grab anything off this cart. I'm rearranging it just because it's unsafe. If you wanna see anything, just let me know and I'll gladly grab it for you. 
Okay. Do you know I shop at this store specifically? all the time and i've never had an employee say that full disclosure i misread the situation and i thought that she was thankful that i cared enough about her safety no she was fucking pissed that she got told no but how i responded ended up helping me oh i'm sorry ma'am you've never had an employee care about your safety before shame on you shame on me for caring about your safety yeah what the fuck sorry about her no you're golden don't apologize for her i witnessed the whole thing you weren't rude she did not have been speaking to you that way also, you got a bathroom in here? Well, thank you, but uh, yeah, back left. Have a good day, ma'am. Here you go. Okay, ma'am, since this is just a barcode off the shelf, I'm gonna have an employee meet you in that section and they'll go ahead and get that up to the front for you. No, I waited in line. You can go ahead and ring me up now. I'll pull my car around and you can meet me out front with my item. No, ma'am, because the item on the barcode is very limited, we do need you to go back there to verify what item you want. Blue, now ring me up. You're going to need to go back there so that way we can verify that it's the correct item. Prices vary depending on size and color and we do need that barcode to verify that we are charging you correctly. It's also for you, ma'am, because if I scan this stock barcode and it doesn't match the barcode on your item and you need to return it, you have no proof of purchase now. I'm not going back there again. Do you know not one employee came and asked me if I needed help? That section specifically is one of the sections that will need an employee to help the customer get to the front. So there are four separate signs that say, if you need assistance, please press button and an employee will be right with you. No, none of those signs are there. And I'm not going back there to show them what item to grab. Ma'am, your only options are to go back and verify. I cannot ring up this barcode because it just says designer and chair. There are 20 different variations in the store. So unless you verify that we're picking up the correct item and that we're charging you correctly, there's nothing more I can do here. Well, then you just lost yourself a customer and I'm never gonna come back. Okay, I understand, have a good day. <sighs> Thanks for waiting. Okay, ma'am, so it appears that all of the tickets have been swapped on these items. Um, I know offhand this one is $49.99 and the ticket says $1.99. If you'd like to wait, I can go ahead and get all of the correct prices for you. I'm not going to buy it if it's $49.99. How much are the rest? So I got the prices for you, ma'am. And while they were all listed as $1.99, they're actually $49.99 and above. So your grand total for all of these is about $450. Did you still want to purchase? No, I'm not paying that much for all of this. You need to be doing your job better if all these tickets are swapped because then now customers like myself are having to deal with this problem. Yes, ma'am, because it's very common that ticket swappers like to swap them and leave them on the shelf for other customers to benefit and then customers to only select items where the tickets have been swapped. Exactly. Look at the position that it put me in. Yep. Have a good day, ma'am. Oh, wait a second. Are y'all hiring? Because I'm going to get a job here then. I mean, yeah. Uh, let me get you a card. Everything's online now. And what did you say that your name was? It's Jane Doe. I'll see you later, coworker. Yo, did she just get caught shoplifting and then try to apply for a job in the same transaction? Yes. All right, I'm gonna go find the items that you took the tickets off of and reprint them. Leslie, I am not asking one of these employees for help. I'm a man, I can lift it myself. Plus we're gonna take this display anyways cause you know it's cheaper. You just wait and see. Robert, I really don't think that this is a good idea. That display is pretty high, it looks secure. I mean, come on, there's three signs saying to ask for an employee. There's two call buttons to bring them. I think we should just press the call button, Robert. Oh, hush, Leslie, they just have to put those signs up because some dumbass somewhere hurt himself doing something he wasn't supposed to do. I work construction, Leslie, You, I'ma be fine. You just watch. All right, I almost got it. Oh my god, sir, let me help you. Are you okay? I'm fine, don't worry about it. This is exactly why I told you not to be messing around with those displays. Yep. Oh, I'm not gonna get hurt, Leslie. I'm construction. And yet, here we are. I don't care, Leslie. The displays are cheaper. We actually don't sell our displays. It says it right on it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How about I forget all about this little incident and I won't go any further with it if you give me a 90% discount. Sir, are you trying to blackmail the store into a discount? No, I'm saying that I'm gonna forget about this entire incident if you give me a discount that's worth my while. So what's it gonna be? That's blackmail, sir. I was trying to save your store a lot of time and hassle. It's no hassle, sir. I'm just gonna go ahead and get that form so I can get your contact information. They're gonna investigate it, check the cameras, you know, get back to you. I'll be right back. Cameras? Uh, we, we're gonna change our mind. You have a great day. Don't worry about that form. I'll see you later. In this video, I'm just rearranging merchandise to make it shoppable. <laughs> Is that gonna be marked down? Uh, no, ma'am, I'm, I'm just moving merchandise around. Is this gonna be marked down? Nope, I'm just rearranging the merchandise. <laughs> Is this going on sale? No, ma'am, I'm not doing any markdowns. I'm just rearranging merchandise. What about this one, though? No, 
anything that I touch and you grab it afterwards is still going to be full price. I am not doing markdowns. You are so rude and disrespectful. I'm a customer. Go get me your manager. No, I'm not going to go find my manager to help you tell on me. If you want to tell on me so bad, you can do it yourself. That's not how this works. I don't care. I need you to mark this down for me. Is there anything wrong with it? Yeah, the box is open. Let me just check and make sure that everything's in here real quick. Yep, everything's in here. I know I checked, but I still want my discount. Unfortunately, ma'am, we don't give discounts for boxes being open, but somebody opened it. Oh, hold on, I got you. I'm just running around the store. Here you go, ma'am. Perfectly good item in its box, hasn't been opened. Are you stupid? I don't want that one. I want the other one that's been opened for 50% off. And as I told you, we don't give discounts for packaging. So do you want this one that's been closed full price or the other one, I can throw some tape on it, full price. Up to you, ma'am. I'm gonna have the one that's been opened for 50% off. No, ma'am. Is there anything else I can help you with? Why not? The store doesn't give any kind of discounts for the box being open or damage to packaging. If that was the case, no customer would ever pay full price for anything. It would be a 50% off sale store-wide. All of the items in my cart, the boxes have been opened or damaged. I expect a discount for all of them. I'm sorry, entire carts? Are you hard of hearing? Ma'am, can I please have you step over to the register three, please? And I'm gonna get somebody who makes more than me to deal with you, to take care of you in just a second. Yeah, that's a good idea. You don't know what you're doing. Please get a manager. <clears throat> <laughs> Next on register two, please. Hi, thanks for waiting. You're gonna need to mark down all of my items and 15% will be the minimum. I'll gladly assess these and I'll see what I can do for you. Oh no, I already told you 15%. They're all damaged. Again, I'll assess it and I'll tell you what I can do for you. Uh, did you want to show me the damages on them? Yep, right here. I'm just not seeing it, ma'am. Are you blind? It's right... I think there. It was a hair, so no discount for this one. Did you still want to purchase it? You're not going to give me a discount. It's completely ruined. No, ma'am. No, I don't want that junk if there's no discount. You better mark this one down. Do you see this right there? It's completely ruined. At least 15% or I won't take it. Unfortunately, ma'am, we don't give discounts for packaging. That just means the box is doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. When did this start? You're just making up policies now? No, ma'am, it's been a policy since forever. That's not a policy. You're new. You don't even know your own policies. Nope, I've been here for three years, ma'am, so... What's the next item we're trying to get discounted? Just give me a minute, I'm finding it. Right there. There's nothing there, ma'am. It's right here. That was a smudge, ma'am. This one's half gone, so I want at least 50% off this. Thank you, ma'am. Actually, we're not able to sell this once it's been open because we can't guarantee that it's been tampered with. So unfortunately, not able to sell this one. No, you're new. You don't even know your store's policies. Get me your manager. I know that legally you have to give me 10% discount because I said something was damaged. Oh, legally we have to. How'd you find that out? I saw a TikTok video that says whether or not it's damaged, all you have to do is say that it's damaged and legally they have to give you a minimum 10% discount. None of that is true. Yes, it is. Now get me your manager. Hey, can I get one of you guys at register one? Yeah, and you're going to want to play nose goes for who has to take this one. All right, ma'am, and when would you like to pick up your items? We're open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. 8 a.m. works. I'll put it in my calendar now. Oh, no, ma'am, we open at 10 a.m., not 8 a.m. Oh, no, I heard you. That just doesn't work for me, though. Okay, so you'd like to pick up another day? No, I want to pick up at 8 a.m. tomorrow. The earliest available is going to be 10 a.m. I can make sure that it's already loaded up and ready to go when you arrive, and you can be on your way. It doesn't matter if you have it ready. I'm not available. Okay, so you'd like to pick it up another day? No, I need it by tomorrow. You can't just open it up early for me? No, because no one's going to be here. You can't just have somebody come in early. I spend a lot of money here. You cannot be serious right now. Are you serious right now? You need to give me Tom, Dick, or Harry. Any one of those managers will do. I know them all, and I know that they'll do this for me. Hey, Dick, I have a customer up here. Apparently, they know you. They're saying that they spent a lot of money here. They're a big deal, and because of that, that you're going to open the store two hours early so that way they can get their items. What? No, I'm on my way up. Hi. Unfortunately, ma'am, you are going to have to come during store hours. What? Do you know how much money I spend in this store? And the store on the east side does this for me all the time. And we thank you for being a valued customer, but you'll still have to come during store hours. I want to return it then. I want to return everything then. And I'm never going to shop here again. All right, everything's returned. Here's your receipt, ma'am. And I will be calling corporate. Yes, you owe me five bucks. She ended it with, I'm calling corporate. Uh, I have never seen that customer before. I have no idea how she knows my name. Two hours early. She's got a sense of humor though. Here I am taking this massive piece of furniture that takes up the entire width of the aisle to a customer who has already paid and is in front and waiting for us to load it into their vehicle. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, yes, the one that I just made eye contact with. Yes, ma'am. It's all right if 
I get around you, I do apologize for this inconvenience. It'll take two seconds and I'll be out of your hair. Ugh. Half an inch is not going to be enough. Are you able to move to your left, to your right about a foot so I can get past you safely? Fine! I'll move! Are you happy now? Did you get your little power trip that you were looking for? Karen had to move a foot to her left. What an inconvenience! I had to have a five minute fucking interaction with you about getting you to move one motherfucking foot and I'm on a power trip? Thank you so much, ma'am. Have a good day. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. You're excused. Oh no, ma'am, that's my merchandise cart and I'm actually in the process of stocking that merchandise. I know that, and you can wait. Okay, well, will you please step to one side? That way you can still shop, I can still work. No, you can wait. Okay, ma'am. <sighs> Have a good day, ma'am. Oh my God, are you fucking kidding me right now? I'm going on break, guys. <laughs> Why do you look so happy? Oh, I just cropped this and the shit out of this woman. So I was at my workstation trying to stock it. She wouldn't get out of the way. She had a fucking attitude. So I just let silent but deadly. And guess what? My lactose intolerant ass had an ice cream cone last night. So I know that shit was crip. See, I never have a fart ready when I need it. Hi, I need to return this tablet, please. And here's my receipt. Okay, thank you. What are you doing? Oh, I just have to verify that the tablet's in the box. No, you don't. Everything's in there. It's not that I don't believe you, ma'am. We have to verify the returns. Okay, ma'am, so this is just a box of rocks. I didn't do that. I bought it that way. I'm not saying that you did, ma'am. I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm gonna call loss prevention. Why do you need to call loss prevention? Don't worry, ma'am. Sometimes this happens. It'll take two seconds. Your receipt has a time and day stamp on it, so they're just gonna go ahead and pull the video feed and they'll be able to see if you bought it open, especially with this painter's tape on it. It'll take like two seconds. I don't authorize you to get loss prevention involved. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? I don't authorize you to get loss prevention involved. I told you it was like this when I bought it and I had my receipt, so go ahead and give me my return. Okay, so you don't want to return this. No, I am going to be returning this. Ma'am, I'm not authorized to return a box of rocks. I have to go through the proper channels and that channel is loss prevention. So if you don't want to go through loss prevention, then I can't help you here. This is so stupid. Fine, I won't return that one, but I am going to return this one though. Okay, thank you, ma'am. What are you doing? Again, ma'am, checking the merchandise. It's in there. Oh! A brick. I bought that like that too. Okay, ma'am, you have a good day. You're not gonna do my return? I have my receipt. No, ma'am, I'm not returning all of your boxes of rocks for you. I'm never gonna shop here again. Kick rocks, ma'am. What did you say? Have a good day, ma'am. Hi, thank you for waiting. You should be, that wait was ridiculous. I actually said that as a courtesy, your wait was under two minutes. You can check your little attitude or I'll also speak to your manager. I'm not in the fucking mood today. Your total is 2034. No, it's not, you forgot my discount. Oh, you're an employee. I just need to see your ID. What do you need that for? No one else has checked it. Oh, that's always been the policy, ma'am. No, it's not. I have never been asked that before. Well, those employees should have been doing their job, but I just need a valid ID and I can get you out of here. Why did they just start doing this all of a sudden then? I'm not, you know, I thought it was in this pocket, but I'm not seeing it. Maybe it's over here. I just, I don't see my ID. It's always been a policy. They didn't just start doing it. They were having issues with employees using it as a friends and family discount, not just an employee discount. Well, I don't have my ID. Okay, here's your receipt, ma'am. Have a good day. And what's your name? I'm gonna be calling corporate. Go right ahead, ma'am. Corporate loves to hear about employees upholding policies. I wanted to buy this, but there's no price tag on it. It must be free then. <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> what a good joke. I fucking hate it here. Hi, how are you? I'm not signing up for your credit card, so don't even ask. Every single store that I go into has their own credit card and every single person wants to ask me if I want one. Do I look like I want one? I don't care. I was trying to ask how you were and you were extremely rude. No, I wasn't. Your total is 2021. Insert tap or swipe, ma'am. That was extremely rude. I was mid-sentence. No, it wasn't. Have a good day, ma'am. Ooh. Do you need some help, ma'am? If I wanted your help, I'd ask for it. I'm buying this. Okay, do you want me to just take up the front for you then? What part of if I wanted your help, I'd ask for it? Do you not understand? Okay, have a good day. Hey, Courtney, I need you to stock this card over here. Let's put this on a shelf. I have money. I'm going to pay. They act like I don't have any money. You want to what? I see you. I see you. What? If I needed your help, I'd ask for it. Did I ask for it? I don't think so. So you need to quit walking around here acting like I stole something. What? Ma'am, no. I see you. What's up? Are you good? No, there's this batshit customer in Bath that won't leave me alone. I asked if she needed help because she was struggling with an item and she went off the fucking rails. Okay, we'll just avoid that part of the store then. Excuse me, I need help over here. I got you, ma'am. No, I want her to do it. She's actually helping a customer right now, but I can help you, ma'am. 
No, I want her to do it. How can I help you? Since you want to bother me so bad, you can go ahead and do your job. I want you to go ahead and call every single store located within an hour from here to find out if they have this product. Actually, ma'am, all the inventory is posted online, so you're able to check yourself. No, I don't trust those. I want you to physically call every single store and have them walk the floor and see if they have my item. And don't worry, I'll be right behind you listening the whole time. Okay, ma'am. That's what I thought. Hi, yes, I have an item that a customer is looking for. I was wondering if you could check the floor for me. Yes, I know that you don't do that. Yes, I know the inventory is posted online. Yeah, oh, you will. Oh, thank you so much. What I thought. Unfortunately, ma'am, I called all the stores and none of them have your item. I didn't even want it. This was just a lesson for you. So you can remember this next time you try to accuse someone of not having money and not being able to buy something. Did you really just call all the stores? No, I just wanted to waste 30 minutes of her time. I got paid for those 30 minutes. I just made up conversations to a dial tone. 11 a.m. Time to open the store. Just this, please. Beep. Okay, your total will be 202, sir. Here you go, ma'am. Ooh, a hundred dollar bill. Hold on, let me get your change. Okay, sir, here you go, 97.98, and it's all of our 20s, 10s, 5s, and most of the singles from the register. Have a good day. Can I have change for register two, please? Is this a joke? I did think that it was a little rude that he came two minutes after opening and paid with a hundred dollar bill, but I just gave him all the cash in the register. I had enough. This is literally just a hundred dollar bill printed on printer paper from home. It's not even one of the hundred dollar bill images in circulation right now. How was I supposed to know that? People don't pay with cash anymore. It's literally your job. Did you use the marker to verify that it was real? No, he seemed like a really nice guy. Okay, well, I have to contact loss prevention now and you're getting taken off the registers. What? Why am I being punished? You aren't being punished. We just have to do some training before you're allowed back on the registers. I hate this job. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I just need to return this wall art. It's broken. I'm a designer and my client bought it a few months ago. All right, I just need your receipt. Oh, I don't have the receipt. My client doesn't want any more because it broke. Unfortunately, ma'am, without a proof of purchase, we can't process the return. Why not? I bought it from here. So without the original packaging, barcode, or receipt, there's no proof of purchase, ma'am. It was about 50 bucks. Doesn't matter, ma'am, without that receipt, I can't process the return. Well, my client's not gonna want it back. So you want us to throw it out for you? No, I want to return it. If you can find your receipt, we'll gladly return it. If not, have a good day, ma'am. I'm not coming back here. I'm looking right now. I completely understand, ma'am, but I'm gonna need you to step to the side so I can help my next customer. Yo, what's up with that woman over there? She's been standing there for like 30 minutes now. She was trying to return some broken wall art that she was saying was $50, but had no proof of purchase. I remember when we got those in a year and a half ago and they were $19.99. I'm not processing that return because that's normal wear and tear. Good morning, ma'am. Why the fuck are you so happy? Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, how are you? Good morning, ma'am. Tell me where your bathroom is. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. I don't want your help. Good morning. Ooh, perfect. Do y'all carry duct tape ropes and knives here? Good morning, ma'am. She does not look like she wants to be bothered. I'm gonna leave her the fuck alone. You're really gonna greet them and not me? That seems right. Hi, how are you? All of my items are going to be discounted. I'm letting you know right now, I'm not gonna be doing this little back and forth with you. Now, let me see your items. I'll see if they qualify for a discount. You can go ahead and lose that little attitude, honey. Here's my first item. See these grooves? It's completely ruined. This is the design. I'm not giving a discount for that. Nope, give me your manager. I warned you I wasn't doing a back and forth with you. Hi, how may I help you, ma'am? Your employee is extremely rude and won't stop arguing with me. All I did was ask very nicely for a discount on a damaged item. I do apologize for her behavior. Are you serious? Unfortunately, ma'am, this is the design. It's supposed to mimic grass. I cannot give you a discount for this. Unacceptable. After the way I was just treated, get me another manager. Absolutely, ma'am. Are you serious? You're allowing her to shop managers? Hi, how can I help you? I hope you can help me because it seems that you don't have anyone in your staff that's competent. You know how often I shop at this chain of stores? I've never been treated this way. Absolutely ridiculous. Some of the worst customer service that I've ever experienced. I will be calling corporate after this. I asked for a discount in a completely damaged item and this is how I'm treated. Oh my God, ma'am. I'm so sorry that you went through that. I really apologize for their behaviors. Oh, Oh, we can get this discounted for you. Absolutely. No, no, it doesn't matter if it's not damaged. 20% easily. Every single thing in your cart too. Absolutely. We take customer service very seriously here. Hmm. That's what I thought. Someone who finally has customer service. And what was your name? I'm Tina and I'll definitely be speaking to my employees about this. Hi, how may I help you? I don't have time for incompetence today. Is Tina working? For safety reasons, we're not allowed to give employees schedules to customers, but if you'd like a manager, I'll gladly get one for you. Shut up. Get me Tina. I need a manager to the front immediately. Hi, how may I help you? Where's Tina? She's not here today, how can I help you? All of my items needed discounting and I know you can do 20% because Tina does 20%. So don't tell me that you can't do it because I know you can, you just choose not to. Have a good day. You too.
So my entire cart full of items were damaged. Do I just go and pick all of them back out again? Like, how does that work? I'm sorry, what are you asking, ma'am? So I stacked all the bags on top of each other in the back of my SUV, but when I got home, I opened up the gate and all the bags fell out and crashed all over the pavement and everything was ruined. So do you get the replacements for me? Do I replace them? How does this work? I'm so sorry that happened to you, ma'am, but we're not liable for any damages that occur once the customer accepts ownership of those products. I don't know what that means. While this is devastating and I'm so sorry that that happened to you, we're unable to replace those items. Why not? I just bought these. I understand that, ma'am. But the items being damaged is a direct result of your actions, not the stores. You're really not gonna replace my items. I sympathize with your situation, but no, ma'am. Fine, then I just wanna return everything then. Again, ma'am, it doesn't matter if it's an exchange or a return, we're not able to accept it. Are you serious? You're not gonna accept my return either? Unfortunately, no, ma'am. I will never shop here again. Do you hear me? I will never shop here again. This is absolutely ridiculous. I'm down $500 and I have what? A cart full of fucking broken ceramics? What do you expect me to do with that? Beep, 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 beep. Dang girl, what's going on today? This is as busy as a Christmas rush. I have no idea, but all of us are ringing and we have not had a break yet. Next on one. Okay, thank you. Don't ring that up yet. I don't know what I'm actually keeping. Okay, so you don't want to check out. I just told you I'm still deciding. Do you not listen? Since you're not ready, I'm gonna hop over to the next register. And once you finally decide you're ready to check out, just give me a little wave and I'll hop over and help you. Absolutely not. I waited in line like everybody else. Every last one of them could fucking wait. No, they're ready to check out and you still have two cartfuls of items that you're still deciding on. I waited in line, I'm in front of you, I'm a customer, you're a cashier, you can do your job. Ma'am, there's a long line and they're ready to check out. So you're saying that their money's more valuable than my money? What? I never said that. I don't want this and I don't want this. Okay, thank you. And how hard was that? I don't think I want this one. I see that you decided on three items out of the two full carts that you brought up. It'll be $12.77, ma'am. Boo-hoo, you had to do your job. Soip. Do you have another form of payment? Your card was declined. You fucked up on your end. Run it again. Shwink. Do you have another form of payment, ma'am? Your card was declined again. No, I don't. What did you do to my card? Nothing. And if you can't pay, I'm gonna take these back. Have a good day. Hi, how are you? I need this back on my credit card now. All right, thank you. All right, ma'am, I put $50 back on the original form of payment. Do keep in mind that it can take up to three business days to show up in your account. And here is your receipt, ma'am. Oh, back so soon? Yeah, because you don't know how to do your job. What are you talking about? The funds aren't in my account. Here's the receipt. Do the return again. Ma'am, as I told you before, it can take up to three business days to show up into your account. Right here, it shows the return amount, $50. That means that the return was processed correctly. No, I need that money now. You better put it in my account. Ma'am, we have no control over how fast they release the funds. It's already been processed. Unfortunately, you're just gonna have to wait. Now, if it is over three business days, you can come back in with your receipt and then we can handle that then. No, you're not gonna steal my money from me. Give me my money now. I need a manager to the front now. Hi, how may I help you? Your cashier is trying to steal from me. I returned my item, now give me my money. All right, ma'am, so see where it says right here that your return was processed in the amount of $50 to the original form of payment? Your return has been processed. Now you do have to leave up to three business days for it to show up into your account though. No, I need it now, give me my money. We have already given you your money. We don't control anything from this point. Again, you're gonna have to wait up to three business days for it to hit. If it doesn't hit within those three business days, you can go ahead and come back. If there's nothing else, you can have a great day, ma'am. You guys are all trying to steal from me, every last one of you, a bunch of thieves in here. Have a good day, ma'am. I made that video about customers returning rocks and that's why you have to check all the merchandise to make sure what they're returning is the actual item. I was in the clearance section and they had rose, lavender, and maple scented reed diffusers. And it's a little banged up, but it was on clearance, originally $34. And before everyone guessed, oh my God, it's one liter of scented oil. I smelled the rose and the lavender because like, sometimes that shit's like, <sighs> old woman stale scent can't do it right but then i saw the maple and i was like hell yeah done because i've never met a maple that i didn't like not a syrup not a scent ever i opened the box i looked in it had the little reeds it had the scent good to go just the box was banged up or so i thought I get home i'm trying to set it up i pop this little bad boy out and i'm like doesn't smell like maple at all there's no scent and i can't get any scent from this none none whatsoever so i'm like i'll just put my little finger in it it's water it's water. Somebody took it all out and filled it with water and then returned it. So now I get to go and try to return this and they're gonna look at me like I'm a thief because the fuck. I'll be damned if I pay $10 for some water. Here you go, ma'am. And pull your car on and we'll help you load that <laughs> into your vehicle. Thank you. Okay, I'll pull around. What do you think she's driving? Cause this is barely gonna fit in a compact SUV. Is that her? She's driving a Camaro. No way this is fitting in that.
Let me just get the trunk. You wouldn't believe what I fit in here. I promise her it won't be this recliner. Ma'am, I'm gonna be honest with you. It really doesn't look like it's gonna fit. Any way we put it, it's gonna be double the width of your trunk. Oh no, it will. You wouldn't believe what I fit in here. All right, ma'am, so that way there's no issue saying that we did not attempt to put it into your vehicle. We're gonna lift it up and put it right by the trunk so that way you can verify that it won't fit. Lift with your legs. I am. Work with me, not against me. Yeah, see, ma'am, it's just not gonna fit. So what if we just put the back of the chair in and then we just have the whole seat part hanging over the back of the trunk and then, like, we'll use the weight like that and we'll leave the trunk open and then when I drive home, I'll just make sure not to hit any bumps. Absolutely not, ma'am. That's extremely dangerous. Why not? I'll drive slow. No, ma'am. Do you understand how dangerous that is? You hit one pebble and that's gonna go flying. It's a massive hazard to anybody else on the road. Not to mention the fact that if we help you load that up and it does fly out and hurt somebody, we can be held liable. We're not doing that. Fine. Do you work here? No, ma'am. This is a fashion choice. Ma'am, I'm kidding. Obviously, I work here. What can I help you with? Don't you work here? That you're just gonna shop instead of helping customers? I know this bitch isn't serious. I'm literally wearing a different store's shirt, open-toed shoes, and I have my purse with me, clearly shopping. Oh, no I don't. But actually, I need this in an extra large. Can you go check in the back for me? I don't work here. Ooh, my mistake, I thought you did. Ugh. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm a designer and I shop here all the time. But about six months ago, I got a mirror for one of my clients and it was on the wall and it just randomly fell off the wall. And uh, don't worry, I brought a piece of the broken mirror in and I don't have the receipt, but it was about $150. Uh, you're able to give me a refund for that, right? You bought this six months ago, you don't have your receipt and you don't have the packaging, just a piece of broken glass for it? Yes. I'm just gonna call a manager just because normally this is an absolutely not, but maybe one of the managers can help you. Hi, how are you, ma'am? You'll be able to process my return, right? Just because I shop here all the time. Unfortunately, no, ma'am, because there's no original packaging, no proof of purchase, and just a broken piece of mirror, we're not gonna be able to process that return. But it fell off the wall and shattered. Yes, as a direct result of how the client mounted it to the wall, not the store. I mounted it to the wall and I know what I'm doing. Okay, I don't understand why you can't process this. I told my client that I would get them their money back. I won't be processing the return because you have no proof of purchase and the damages are a direct result of your own actions. I cannot justify the loss prevention why I gave a woman $150 for walking in with a broken piece of mirror. This is ridiculous, I shop here all the time. And we thank you for your past patronage. Have a good day, ma'am. Hi, I'm a designer and I shop here all the time. And about six months ago, I picked up a mirror for one of my clients and it was on the wall. It fell down, completely shattered. And I brought a piece of the mirror with me. It was about $150. Um, Will you be able to give me my return? I need a manager to the front, please. Hey, you were able to find the receipt. No, I wasn't. I was actually just trying to get a return for a mirror that broke. Uh, I brought a piece of it in. Yes, and unfortunately, just like they told you yesterday, we're not gonna be able to process that return. This is ridiculous. I shop here all the time. And we thank you for that. Have a good day. Excuse me? Excuse me? Yes. Uh, how much do I get off this table for it being the last one? I'm sorry, what? This is the last table available. How much of a discount do you guys give for that? Oh no, we don't give discounts for it being the last one of that item on the shelf. Why would you not? It's the last one on the shelf. We don't give discounts for items selling. This is a store. That's ridiculous. It's the last one. Have a good day, ma'am. Hi, so this table right here is the one that I want. It's at $60, but it's the last one on the shelf. So I brought up this other table that is $40 and there's multiple of it on the shelf. I'm gonna need you to price match it down to $40 for me. Thanks. What? Ma'am, we don't price match because it's the last one on the shelf. Those are two separate items, two separate prices. Why not? This one has multiple left and this one's the last one. I understand what you're saying, but we don't just change prices for that. If you're not gonna price match it, then what kind of discount are you gonna give me for it being the last one then? As I said before, we're not gonna give you any kind of discount for that, ma'am. That is absurd. It's a miracle you guys even have customers. How are you still in business? So are you buying this or not? No, the last one for full price? Absolutely not. Then have a good day. I can help who's next on eight. Hi, how are you? Good, you. Good, thank you for asking. How was your holiday? Good, had the whole family over. Both of these carts are going to be returns. I brought all 20 receipts for them and I also brought all the packaging for the open items. Okay, I just need your first item. Here you go. 
Thank you. Nothing's wrong with it, it just didn't work out. Ma'am, these are dirty and used. There's an orange oil across this entire thing. Every single one of your dishes have been used. You didn't even wash them. No, I didn't even use them. I have my receipt, you need to do my return. No, I'm not accepting any of the dirty dishes, so what else do you need to return? All of these decorations. I can't accept these returns. Everything is dirty. No, they're not. The decorative candle is half burned. That's not my problem. I brought the packaging, put it back in the packaging and throw it on the shelf. Absolutely not. Get me your manager. Hi, how may I help you? I have my receipts and the packaging and she won't accept my return because this is return abuse. No, I just didn't use them. There's food on the plate still. I bought them like that. Just return the items. You wanna do it so bad you can do it. That's disgusting, I'm not touching it again. Uh, okay. Hi, how are you? Good, I just had to get a new dish set and decorations for my New Year's Eve dinner party. Everyone always talks about how great my dinner parties are. It's the employee's job to get the fuck out of the way of the customer. What did you just say to me? It's the employee's job to get the fuck out of the way. It's the employee's job to get the fuck out of the way. No, it's my job to stop. Did you need to get right here? Then you need to be an adult and you need to say excuse me. No, employees are supposed to get the fuck out of the way. No, no, employees get the fuck out of the way of customers. Which I would have gladly done if you used your words. Fucking worthless generation. Fucking miserable bitch. <sighs> Mm-hmm. What? Can I help you? Get over here, Trevor! What the fuck? I'm embarrassed for still working in retail at her age. Yeah, yeah, babe, totally. Yep, I'm the one that should be embarrassed. Hi, how are you guys today? Good. Good. All right, so your total is $19.90. Would you like to run up the 10 cents for St. Jude's and help children and families fighting cancer today? Keep in mind, regardless of your personal beliefs, this is our job and we were required to ask this question. How about instead you go ahead and take money out of that charity and round down my total to $19 even? They already have cancer, at least this way it's money well spent. How about children fighting cancer are more important than you being cheap? What a disgusting thing to say. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I, I didn't, I didn't. I'm so sorry, sir. I should have never said that. That was completely inappropriate of me. I just, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say how sorry I am. I've just been so emotional lately. You know how the stress of this job and you know how customers are sometimes. That was so uncalled for. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you better be sorry. I didn't deserve to be treated like that. It was just a joke. You can't take a joke. I thought it was funny. Yeah, it really was. I just, so emotional lately. Ugh, I, I'm so sorry, sir. All right, so here's your receipt and your 10 cents. And again, I just wanted to apologize for my completely inappropriate behavior. Uh, you should be. This happened early on when I started retail and ever since then I have a rule. If it is a couple together, I do not engage. I don't care what it is. I am not going to engage. I provide the bare, bare minimum customer service and that is it. Miss, over here. Yeah, over here. How can I help you? So you only have one of these in the clearance section and I need two, but your other store's location had like 10 on sale. Okay ma'am, so we don't have any control over how fast the clearance items sell. Whatever is there is what we have left. So you're not listening. I said I needed two and you only have one. The other store has like 10 of them. So, so we don't have any more left. Your best bet is probably to try that other location. You're really telling me to take my business to another location? Yes, if you want this specific one, you're gonna have to go to another location. We do have a whole bunch of other brands on clearance though. If you wanted to try in one of those, did I say that I wanted to try any of those? No, I said that I wanted two of these. When are you gonna get more in? Let's see, this upcoming Monday, ma'am. Okay, so when I come back on Monday, what is my discount gonna look like? Your discount? You heard me. I need to be compensated for my time. On top of me having to come back to this store, it's going to be on sale. How much more of a discount am I gonna receive? Oh, no ma'am, it'll be full price. That's a new item coming in. We will have it in stock for you though. No, it needs to be discounted. The one today is discounted. That means the one coming in should be discounted too because I needed two and you only had one. No ma'am, that's not how that works. It'll be full price on Monday. If you'd like to come back, you're more than welcome to. Absolutely not, give me a manager. Hi, yes, I'm back again. I'm gonna need that return for the $150 mirror. Don't worry, I brought two pieces of the broken mirror this time. Hey ma'am, so as I've told you for the past two days in a row, we're unable to process that return. You have no proof of purchase. You just have a piece of the broken glass, no receipt. You said you purchased it six months ago and there's nothing wrong with the actual item. It broke as a direct result of how you mounted it to the wall. Correct, I have now wasted three days of my time coming in here trying to get this sorted out. I told you that I'm a designer, I shop here all the time, so I'm not leaving until you figure it out. And I thank you for your past patronage, but I cannot accept this return. But I brought you another piece of it this time.
Okay. Get me corporate's number now. Here's that number. I shop here all the time. Blah, 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 blah. I'll never have anybody else shop here. Blah, blah, blah. Do you know who I am? Blah, 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 blah. I know all the designers. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm getting my full refund and they said to go ahead and check your email. You'll find a confirmation in there. And I guess I'll wait here while you go ahead and process that. Those mother Here you go. See, it's not that hard to do your job. This woman effectively returned a broken piece of mirror for $150 because she complained enough. So if the issue is that managers not backing their employees, it's corporate not backing their managers. Hey, there's a customer over there that needs some assistance. Can you go help them? I got you. Did you need some help, ma'am? How tall is a standard dining room table? Couldn't tell you. You really don't know that? Nope. Wow, you work in this store and you don't know? Yep, I don't know, but you can always Google it yourself, ma'am. No, you should know that. I wanted to buy these two chairs, but I think they're gonna be too short for it. So do you want the chairs? I'm still deciding. Mm. Now, where is she? Where is that employee? I want the chairs. Okay, I got you, just give me a minute. Why was I so nice to her when she came back? One, I left her standing there with a little finger in the air, straight up left her where she was standing and she had to come find me again. That way she's wasting her own time, not mine. And number two, the moment that she said dining room table chairs, I knew that they were too short, way too short. Her guests are gonna be sitting here like this, not gonna work. But I'll be damned if I didn't lift up those chairs into her truck with a smile on my face because I know she's gonna have to get them home, get them off the truck, try to style them, not gonna work out, get them back on the truck, waste her time and her gas coming back to the store to return those motherfucking chairs.